Well, heartbroken families and a legal battle over which animal is responsible for killing a beloved Pomeranian. The court says it's the next door neighbor's dog, but his family is trying to DNA testing to see if they can prove that their dog is innocent. Local force Lauren Podell is joining us live now this morning with more on this story uh, because Lauren, this is getting kind of expensive. It certainly is, and I mean, both of these families that we're talking about in St. Clair County, they're headed to court on Monday where the judge is expected to sign off on that DNA testing. DNA from Jeb, this dog you see here, the family of the Pomeranian believes attacked their dog, killing it, and the family of Jeb, Jeb's owners, they're certainly hoping that DNA testing that's going to Florida will prove it. This is the story of Vlad and Jeb. It was the most ter horrifying, terrifying day of my life. Vlad was a small Pomeranian in his backyard sunning himself. Chris Sawa didn't see the attack on his beloved pup, but what he did see was Jeb. The next door neighbor's Belgian Malinois standing over Vlad's lifeless body. The Pomeranian had multiple bite marks and cracked bones. He was dead. I want my dog back, is what I hope happens. Sawa called animal control who came and demanded that Pam and Ken Job turn him over even though Jeb had no blood on him. He's been at animal control ever since this happened in August and a judge has ordered that he be destroyed. The Jobs don't believe this is Jeb's fault. It's not fair. Jeb has more than 200 hours of training as a service dog for Ken Job. He was a patient and sweet to everything from the bunny to the rest of the animals on their property to the disabled children who visit their home. He didn't do it. The Jobs are hoping DNA testing will prove it. They're paying thousands of dollars to have Vlad's body swabbed to see if Jeb's DNA is in the bite marks. The Sawas are broken hearted from the entire ordeal and say the testing just delays any sort of closure and no circumstances they want Jeb back in the neighborhood. I feel that without a doubt it was the neighbor's dog. You really have two heartbroken families here now tied up in legal battles over what animal killed this sweet Pomeranian. Was it Jeb? His owners trying to prove otherwise. They say, look, they live in rural St. Clair County. They could have, it could have been a fox. It could have been a coyote. As for the Sawa family, they say they hope Jeb doesn't return to their next door neighbors because they have another Pomeranian, Pomeranian that they're fearful for his life. Reporting live this morning, Lauren Podell, Local 4 News Today. Hopefully they can figure this all out. Yeah, hopefully that DNA testing gives both of these families some answers as to what actually happened.